Fireman Sam's just arrived home after work, but it doesn't look as though he's staying very long. We're here! Uncle Sam! Hello! Oh, you're here already? Yeah, for a great adventure in the wild. Well, I'm nearly ready too. Now, where did I put that mallet? <laughs> Uncle Sam? Hmm? Here it is. Oh, yes, silly me. Oh, what have I done to deserve this? All I want is a cup of tea, and I have to come all the way downstairs to fetch the tea bags. Hey! What's my tea caddy doing here? Norman? What's more, it's full of holes. Norman! Oh! Bah! Bah! My goodness! Norman, you come here this minute! You hear me now? What's the matter, Mom? What's the matter? Hmm. Oh, Ferdinand! How did you get in there? What do you mean, how did he get in there? Do you think I don't know how he oh, got in there? Oh, steady, no Norman! Oh, sorry, Fireman Sam. I'll give you Ferdinand, Norman. Come back here this minute! Morning, dear Liz. Horrible little thing! Making me jump like that. Do you mean Norman? I beg your pardon? Uh, yes, dear Liz. Well, now look, here's a list. I hope you've got everything. Of course I have. Sausages. Eggs. Beans. Well, having a party, then? Well, no, not exactly. Oh, already then, is it? You could say that. How much? Oh, £3.43. So, one chocolate milk shake. Oh, smash him! Mind your manners, Norman. Oh, Trevori, you're so polite. I know. <coughs> oh, bad throat, is it? Sounds like you've got a frog in it. Hello, Trevor. I thought we'd find you here. We'd like a ride, Mr. Evans. To Pandy Lane, please. Oh, right. Well, I, I was just having a quick cup of tea. Ah. Well, yeah, am I late? <laughs> uh, we're just leaving now. I'll be right with... Oh, my hat! Mamma mia! The hat! E up! Hey, come back here, you. I said... Hey, now look. Come back here. Come back! <laughs> Thanks for the lift. No, hang on a minute. I think I should give you a hand with this tent, Sam. Well, I'm, I'm sure we can manage, you know, Trevor. No, oh, we'll have it up in no time. Old Baden Powell's had nothing on me. Right. Another pig by here, Sam. Just a minute, Trevor. Oh, I'll just have a quick check inside. Zoom me up, kids. Hello? Oh, drat. Need a peg, Fireman Sam? Where do you spring from, then? I came to help. It's all right, Norman. We don't need any more. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Hey. Hey there. Oh. Hey, What's up, it? Trevor? There's a wild animal in here. Oh. oh, oh. Bah. Ferdinand. Oh. What's good? No, man. Ferdinand, don't go into the water. Ah. Oh. Oh. I hope he 
can swim. Cheerio, Trevor. Fine, Norman. That Dillis is wondering where he's got to. Right then. We'd better light the fire now. And cook the beans. Yeah, just like real cowboys. Here we go. Matches. Though only adults should use them, of course. Right. Let's get cooking. Whoa, look, Mr Evans. They've left a sleeping bag behind. We'll have to go back now. Whoa, trouble. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, lush. Hang on. Here's Trevor coming back. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Sounds like he's got engine trouble. I think you'd better get out, Norman. What's up, Trevor? I don't know. Doesn't sound too good to me. Hmm. I got an extinguisher inside I have. Good man, Trevor. Move out of the way, kids. Leave this to me. Trevor, go to the phone box and phone the fire service, will you? Oh, a cup of, a cup of tea on the table, sir. Now who needs the fire service? Vehicle on fire at Pandy Lane. All present and correct, sir. Right. Let's go. Yes, I think that's it. Oh, well, they're on their way now. Hello. What's this, then? What you got there, Sam? Checked your oil recently, Trevor? Yes. You left your rag in there. Oh, Daryl. Five in Cradlington. I say, what have we here? Hmm? Bit of a problem with an oily rag, sir, but it's all right now. Oh, well, I suppose it's make up and back to Ponty Pandy. Whoa, look at the trend. Great fires of London. Man the house reel. Water on. Water on. Well done, man. Knock off and make up. Oh, Uncle Sam, what are we going to do now? It's put an end to your camping trip, I should think. I don't know, sir. Later on, in Sam's back garden, grubs up you too. Great! At last! Oh, mega brill! And for the long, cold night on Ponty Pandy Trail, a special treat. Central eating. It's Saturday morning in Pondy Pandy. Sarah and James are tick, calling on their Uncle Sam because they know it's his day off. Tick! Tickle, 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 tickle! <laughs> Zap! Pow! Wow! Robot Master!
Master, the movie! <laughs> What's all this about a robot, Master? That's the name of the film we're going to see this afternoon. Remember? Of course I do. In fact, I've been getting ready for it. I'm working on a popcorn machine. Mega Brill! Great! Well, I must get back to my inventing shed. What time's the film? Two. Oh, that leaves me plenty of time. Now then, you two, this is a no-go area. You can't come in here till I've finished. There's some squash and biscuits in the kitchen. I'll see you later. Oh! Fireman Cridlington and Auxiliary Fireman Evans are reporting for duty. An easy job today, men. And you, Fireman Cridlington, are in charge. Oh! Oh, in right or, sir? Now, I want you to take Jupiter out and top up the water tank from the hydrant situated at the junction of Newtown Road and Pandy Lane. And it must be done as quickly as you can. Right? OK, sir. Oh. Come on, Elvis. All present and correct, Elvis. Right, Trev. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, Norman, there's lovely you look in your cowboy outfit. You do remind me of the film stars. Oh, Mum! Say, Mum, I hear the stagecoach coming. No, it's not the stagecoach, Norman. I wonder where they're off to with such a late... Now then, Norman, my sweet. Mummy's got a lot to do. Off you do go and play. OK, partner. See you at sunset. Now then, if I fix this sprocket to the piston, yeah. Yes, that's right. Bit of a genius you are, Fireman Sir. Here we are, Trev. Off we go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, yeah, water on hydrant. Water on hydrant. That's it. It's there. It's it's full. Right, stop. Uh, stop. Oh no, I mean knock off. Knock off hydrant. Knock off hydrant. Right. Uh, make up the gear trap. Oh, good. Oh, you're doing all right, are you? Next stop, Ponty Pandy Fire Station. Hang on a minute, Elvis. Oh, that boy. I don't know. Well, it's too far to walk. Ah. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Stick him up! Norman Price? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing, Big Chief Sitting Bull. Oh, right. Well, you see, Sheriff, I'm waiting for the Braves. Hey, those the Braves who shot the posse this morning? You there, Chief? I'm taking you in, Big Chief Sitting Bull. Hey, now, just, just a minute, Norman. Stop it. No, stop it. I, I'm only acting. Well, I ain't, and I got the key. See? E oh. Oh. Thanks a lot, Norman. How's it going, Uncle Sam? Won't be long now. <coughs> well, not very long. <sighs> oh! That was quick. 
reporting back. The job's done, sir, and in double time. Jolly good, Kidlington. First rate. But where's Fireman Evans? Oh. Is oh well no I I well I just go and fetch him sir no I, I, I won't be long you've done it again Cridlington I'm coming with you this time well I never oh, half a ponty bunny must be on fire Uncle Sam we're with you now oh. Oh, well, wow. this door's jammed. Oh, dear. What was that, then? I think I must have screwed the throttle tweaker too tight on the overhead sprocket. What does that mean? It means there's not enough air getting through to the funnel chamber. And what does that mean? It means there's a high degree of flumbustication. Oh, I think we'd better phone the fire brigade. Hmm. I do hate wasting time. Don't let it happen again. Ah, now what have we got here? Handcuffs. Very dangerous things, Norman Price. Jupiter 999 <laughs> from... Sorry, Trev, I got, uh, got carried away, I did. Wilco, Jupiter 999, over. W.V. out. Right then, emergency reported at 3 Vail Road, person jammed in shed. 3 Vail... I, I know that address. So do I, Criddington. It's Fireman Sam's. Let's go. Hey, what about me? Oh, not again. Oh, look, Mr. Evans. I found a key. Oh, at last. Come quickly. Uncle Sam's got stuck in his inventing shed. Follow me, Pillington. At the double. Here they are, Uncle Sam. Don't worry. Good heavens. It's beginning to look serious. Stand back, children. Take cover. Well, here's the popcorn anyway. Now, what time did you say that film started? When he is the fireman jam, fireman Sam is there on time. Putting on his coat and hat, in less than seven seconds flat. He's always on the scene, fireman Sam, and his engine's bright and clean. Fireman Sam, you cannot ignore. Sam is It's Sarah and James, last day of school before the Easter holidays. Come on, Norman! It's the best day of term, remember? Best for you, maybe. I got to do the spelling test again. Hello, you two. Now, how about a cream egg for break time? Oh, yes, please, Uncle Sam. Oh! Well, I never... Morning, Dillis. What a calamity, Sam! There's a chicken pox epidemic all over the valley. Anyway, there's the story. Look. Rash of chicken pox covers Ponty Pandy. Popping up all over the place it is. If you ask me, it's those sell-by dates that's doing it. Mom, I've got spots. I knew it. He's so sensitive, you see. I'll go to bed after I come home from school, is it, Mum? You won't go near that school today, my sweet, in case you get a double dose. What a cheat. 
See you. Bye. Down, Elvis's eggs won't to make you frown. Bacon rushes really grilled, leaves your tummy well and truly filled. Uh, here you are, Trevor. Sausage, bacon, and eggs. Now, what, what's next? Oh, yes, uh, 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 stew into the oven. Why don't you have a bowl of muesli, Trevor, instead of all that greasy food? Morning, man. Today's drill. <laughs> is uh, is fitness training, and I'm pleased to welcome our good friend firefighter Penny Morris, who's come to put us through our paces. Oh no, Norman! I'm off across the road to Balish for my elevenses. Now you wrap up warm, my sweet. Yes. Oh, all right, Mum. Oh. I'm not wasting a day off lying in bed. What a great performance. Brill. <laughs> Ready, everybody? Down and up and down and up. Come on, sir, stretch those legs. Yes, I, uh, <coughs> I, I, I do have to be rather careful about my back condition here. Yeah? Down and up. Ah, that's fine, Fireman Sam. Uh, do down and uh, uh, up and no. Touch your toes, Trevor. I well, I don't know when I last saw my toes. Pe oh, uh, oh, that's torn it. Hmm. What a dismal display, Fireman Gridlington and Evans. There's nothing for it but timed jogging. Pondy Pandy Farm and back. On your marks. Get set. And go. Sounds like an order, that Elvis. It's Norman Price, the fastest stone slinger in the West. Oh, oh I've I've had it, Trev. <laughs> I, I thought this jogging lark was supposed to <coughs> do you good. It's wrecking me. It must be a fun run. Well, I think I'll have some fun too. <laughs> yes. This this ought to do the trick. Oh, oh. oh! That's it. I get back and watch. Well, that's odd. I could have sworn Ponty Pandy was over there. You see, we're having mirages, like they have in the Sierra Ara. <laughs> have a nice trip. Tins. Tins. Oh, dear, not a fresh vegetable in sight. Ah, information collated, sir. I'd better get back to HQ. Very good, Firefighter Morris. Uh, Cridlington and Evans are taking their time. Well, too much exercise for unfit people can be dangerous, sir. Oh. Oh, really? Yes, of course. Well, I think Fireman Sam and I had better check their own course. We should have come across them by now, Sam. I probably just stopped off for a tea at Bella, sir. Mm. Oh, I'm glad I spotted you here. <laughs> there they are, sir. Miles off course. A bus driver with no sense of direction. Hmm. Hey, Sam's come to save us. <sighs> hey, what? Oh, am I glad to see you. Good heavens, chicken pox. What? Hey, you got, you got spots? Jupiter 999 from WP, over. Uh, uh WP from Jupiter 999, uh, over. Fire at Ponty Pandy Fire Station, over. Fire at the fire station. 
Uh, Wilco Jupiter 999. Over. I think we need all hands for this one, sir. Spots or not. Quite right, Fireman Sam. Um, on board, men. So was Stu and Dumplings gone west? Well, lucky it wasn't the fire station too, Elvis. Hey, just a minute. Just wipe your face again. Hmm. Now, I wonder who you could have caught that from. How's the invalid, then? Oh, he's, he's been in bed all day, he has. Hello, Mum. Look, no spots. I'm better. No, you can't be better yet, my sweet. See, you're still covered in them. But I can't be. Oh. You won't be able to wipe those off so easily, my lad. Oh. Hi, Norman. Mrs. Williams says not to worry about the spelling test. Great. You can do it after the holidays. Mom, I feel mega sick. It's a quiet day at Ponty Pandy Fire Station. Morning. <clears throat> morning, men. Oh, morning, sir. Uh, uh, good, good morning, station. Uh, oh, station officer Steele, sir. Oh, uh, Bington. Golf today, sir? Yes, beautiful day for a couple of rounds. What? Ah. That's it? Right. Just take a quick shove to your post before I tee off. <laughs> right. Ah, I better open this one. Looks a bit official. <laughs> Dear station officer Steele, it's reti retirement. Retirement? But I'm in my prime! Mum, can I have my next week's pocket money this week? Norman! You should know better than to ask me that. What does that mean, no? Yes. I mean, no! Oh, I'll have to go and do that caddying at the golf club for Mr. Steele, then. And make sure he pays you proper. You know what he's like. Oh, now look what you've done. <clears throat> Men, I, uh, I have something to tell you. I have this morning received notification of my retirement. I shall be leaving almost immediately, 
My thanks to you all. Goodbye. But, sir, you, you can't go now. But I'm not going just now, Elvis. I'm off to the golf club. They'll see a lot more of me there from... from now on. Oh. Well, that's a bit of a shock, isn't it? It won't be the same without them. Aye, there'll be nobody shouting at me. One thing's for certain. We better get him a decent present and organize a bit of a farewell do. I'll have a whip round. But what can we get him, Sam? Hmm. I know, golf. We'll get him a new golf bag. Right. Now then, head down. Slow backswing and give it a wallop. Uh, where is it? Oh, God grief. I, I can't seem to hit the ball at all today. Right, try again. Uh, Mr. Steele, you'll have to pay me by the hour because we're only on the second hole and it's nearly time for my dinner. Certainly not, Norman. Right, well, I'm going to have to speed things up a bit then. Now then. Go. Ah, now look, that was a bit straighter. Aye, straight into the pond. Now cheer up, Norman. We're halfway there. And take that. If he runs out of balls, I might get home for my tea. I, uh, I can't find this one either, Mr. Steele. Oh, it'll be bedtime soon. Come on, hurry up. Well done, Mr. Steele. I was 12 or 24. It was rubbish anyway. <laughs> yes, will you kindly keep your voice down, Norman? Oh, whack. Why, that was a close shave. I wouldn't be right if the boss saw me hiding his retirement present in the potting shed. Now then. No, I don't think he saw me. Oh, no, it's a beautiful bag, this. Costs enough. Complete waste, because he can't play anyway. Now then. Let's have a cup of tea, and I'll give the tomatoes a drink while the water boils for my cup of... Salmon. Uh, eight. Oh, good grief. I'm going to have to have a word with the club secretary about this bunker, Norman. Well, it won't be there much longer. Don't let it beat you, Mr. Steele. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes on that one, cool. Norman. Oh, dear. There you are, my lovelies. You'll grow more beautiful by the day. Ah, oh, oh, something's burning. Oh, my goodness. It's my potting shed going up in smoke. Oh, come on, Trev. Uh, 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 oh, it's no good. I'll have to raise the alarm, quick. Allotment shed on fire. All present and correct, Sam. Right, let's go. Oh, oh come on, Sam. This Trev's potting shed. I'll take the hose reel. Oh, thank goodness you've arrived, boys. We'll soon have this under control, Trev. Water on. Water on, Sam. Oh dear, what a catastrophe. My daffodil bulbs, my little crocus hiss. Mr. Steele's present? 
Oh, heck. Stay back, Trev. Nothing's that important. There. All under control. Right. Knock off the pump, Elvis. Oh, look, Sam. That was a beautiful bug. What are we going to give him now? Ah, that was taken on my first date. Ponty Pandy. Well, all over now. Hmm? Yes? Excuse me, sir. You, uh, you got some visitors. Very well. <clears throat> Send them in. Oh, hello, children. This is something from James and me for your retirement, Mr. Steele. We made it. Yes, well, it's, uh, it's Jupiter, isn't it? Hmm? Well, it's very, uh, very clever of you both. Thank you. And, and this little something is from me and Mum. Ah, and what have we here, Norman? Golf balls. Oh, how very kind. You knew I needed some new ones. New balls with old grass on them. Yes. Well, thank you, Roman. Hello? Ponty Pandy Fire Station. Uh, retiring Station Officer Steele speaking. Chief Officer. Oh, uh, yes, Chief Officer. I'm... Well, I'm bearing up. Thank you, sir. I uh, well, yes, yes, of course. I have just received a call from HQ, and they uh, they want me to keep my job. And I have just said, um, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray! hooray! hooray!